Hey guys, Mark here. I hope that you're well. In today's video, I want to show you another way of lashing together a package. Lashings are usually used to reinforce a package so that you can move it around. Now, this one was described in the Ashley's Book of Knots as more of a fancier lashing that is usually used in higher-end stores and boutiques. Now, all in all, it is fairly decorative, but also functional. So first, let's take a look at the lashing, then tie one. Here you can see an example of this style of a lashing. It is fast and easy to do, plus it looks fairly decorative. You can use this one for transporting various goods, for setting up gifts, or just to move things around. So, with this said, the packaging is also quite easy to undo. All you do is pull on the two strands, and the lashing is undone. As far as supplies for this project go, the only thing you're going to need is some cordage. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to be using some paracord. This is because it is a lot easier to see what I'm doing. But generally, you will want to use natural cordage, such as cotton or hemp twine. Hemp twine is my personal preference. Natural strands are not usually as strong as artificial ones, but this is more of a decorative lashing than it is a lashing that you would use on heavy parcels or packages. So with that said, let's get into the lashing. To lash this package, I'm going to take my cord and I'm going to fold it in half. This creates a bite at the center point. I'm now going to place this bite over one of the edges of the package. So I'm going to travel under the package and place the bite over one of the edges. I now have two strands here and I'm going to take the left one and I'm going to place it to the bottom of the package. The right one is going to go all the way to the right side. Now I'm going to pick up the bite and move it closer to the center of the package. So something like this. Now, using the bottom strand, I'm going to pass over this horizontal strand and under this vertical one. So, over, under. Like this. Then I'm going to pick up the right strand. I'm going to pass over this crossing and under this horizontal strand. Like this. Now tighten up your lashing a little bit. Usually you will want to tighten it at about the center of your package. So tighten it up. Now we're going to finish it by making a simple shoelace bow. So I'm going to make a bite using my left strand and I'm going to place it over the right strand, like this. So simply over the right strand. Now using the right strand, I'm going to make a bite, place it over the left bite and into the opening here on the left side, like this. So this is what you should get. Tighten up. And your lashing is complete. Now, with twine, this is perfectly enough. But for slippery ropes, for example artificial ones such as paracord, you may want to do a second bow. 
So simply make a second bow like you would on your shoes. Just reinforce the bow in case you have a slippery kind of rope. Guys, just so that you absolutely know how to finish the slashing, let me repeat the finishing process. If we break it down, we make an ear using the left strand and we pass it over the right strand here. Then with the right strand, we make an ear after the left strand. We place it over the left ear and into this opening here. Then simply pull and you have your finished lashing. Guys, I hope that this lashing wasn't terribly hard. It takes a bit of getting used to, but it is practical, especially for setting up gifts or if you're selling any goods such as clothes and things like that. In any case, I would like to sincerely thank you for joining me and I hope to see you next time.